So we're going to go through here today is the active passive circuits on the Music Man Stingray. This is my 2002 shit ray as we call it. Um, it has a passive circuit similar to what you would find on a jazz bass using an older orange drop capacitor. Uh, these are both 500k pots, volume and tone. This is your active passive switch. And this is a game boost for the Lucid Hand Devices NFP filter preamp run at 18 volts. Um, so, I'm going to show you sort of the range of tones that you can get from this. Now this is just passive. This is what the uh, tone knob does. This amp here, my Mesa Boogie 400 plus, set almost completely flat, volumes right around two, uh, the master volume I should say. Uh, my pedal board here, the only thing I have on is a dark glass harmonic booster set completely flat just to help with the video um, sound quality. Uh, yeah, here we go. So this is the passive circuit. Uh, really, really cool funk tones from this. sometimes can clip a signal. Not with this, you can adjust the pole heights individually, a very nice feature. Herrick pickups, H-E-R-R-I-C-K pickups out of Wales, does make something very, very similar to this eight coil. You can get them wound a couple different ways. Um, you know, it, one humbucker per string even, which is every one of these uh, series of magnets can be wound as one individual humbucker. So in this four string bass, you can have four individual pickups. Great guys over there, they do custom designs as well. But the real gem here is the Music Man, uh, well, no, the Lucid Hand Devices NFP filter preamp. So if I flip this switch, this turns the active circuit on. And now this tone knob still works with it. Filter knob here is, is, is quite the treat. It pretty much does all of your bass, mids, and treble with one handy little knob. Um, some of the songs you may recognize uh, the wall tone from. A lot of Justin Chancellor songs. Most of that bass, any sort of the five string tracks were done on a Music Man Stingray. Um, you know, you get that super nice, oh, it's just such a pretty sounding, it cracks right through the mix. I just love that, that wet sounding wall tone. Then the opposite end of the spectrum here. You can just roll this knob all the way back, and now you're you're deep into that that re uh, reggae almost. I am still at the same volume that is now shaking everything in the house, uh, but to. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. 
And two, that was done on a classic Stingray. So we just switch this right back over, roll up the tone knob here, and now grab a little pick. Uh, it does change your attack a little bit. Just gives you that wide range of tone. Um, lucid hand devices, uh, you can find them anywhere online they have a facebook nuno who is making these is a, is a wonderful guy to work with excellent customer service he's the one that showed me how to actually use a passive circuit with the switch and the filter so just an excellent sound super clean sounding uh preamp i do like the gain adjustment here there's also another gain adjustment inside of this on the board itself just a really wonderful array of tones that you can get from this, and it, it's just a bass that can do everything. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are, are watching the whammy bar here, like I'm gonna do something special with it. But uh, I guess I could. Let's go for a little bit of a primacy mid-tone. A little bit more, boost that up a little bit. So, Lucid Hand Devices, Herrick Pickups. This is not a Herrick Pickup, this is a bootleg multi-coil, but they do make other pickups um, that I do own. I just didn't have one in this base currently. This is what I ran it as to give a demo for a multi-coil with the NFP filter preamp. So, there you go. Um, again, I just love these tones. The, the, the classic... That really nice, early 90s Blood Sugar Sex Magic tone was one of my favorite favorite tones of all time on bass and it just nails it. 